Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. I'm gonna talk about how the forgot password functionality can cost you your account. Now, what do I mean by that? There are certain vulnerabilities possible in this functionality. I'm gonna go over a few of them with you guys, and then, first of all, I'm gonna mute myself. There we go, and then we're going to see if you guys can apply these in real life, first of all, that might be important, and second of all, if you do, maybe you can get a bug bounty out of it. Who knows? Let's start with password reset link not expiring. This is a pretty important one because once you've used that link or once it has been a while, it cannot be valid forever. This password link needs to be invalidated. That is super important because if an attacker were to ever get their hands on an old link of yours, they might be able to abuse it. This is not, well, you can report this as a bug bounty, but chances are they might not accept it. It might be in there out of scope. Check it very carefully. The thing is in pen testing, always, always, always report that one. Got some recommendations to fix as well, of course, in the article at which I'm gonna link below. And then we have the token leak via referrer header. So the referrer header is basically, you know, no headers. It says, this is where we came from. This is the page where we came from. Now, if you send your user somewhere and you fill in that referrer header with the token, that might be bad. If the attacker is able to control where that leads to, that link, they can link to their own server. Imagine I'm the attacker. I'm going to make that link come to my server with the password reset token. I, as a sysadmin, have my logs, I can check my access logs. And there I can see this URL was requested with this specific token. And then I can attack and then I can change that password. Now, pretty unlikely, but still, there is a possibility that this might happen. So as a pen tester, make sure that you re record this as well. You really shouldn't have this. This shouldn't be a possibility. Then we have user enumeration via password research page. So let's say I want to go to that forgotten password page and I'm starting to throw all kinds of usernames at it. A whole list of millions of usernames. And let's say the system, if it's looking up in the backend, if the user exists and the user does exist and it's making a link, it might take a fraction of a second longer. It might take a moment longer, a few milliseconds. You might notice it. It might give a different status code. All of these differences are are things that you can look out for and then you can literally enumerate all of the usernames that are on the system. Again, usually not bug bounty worthy, but still, it's something that you should report as a pen tester. And then we have parameter pollution, which is when you have more than one parameter with the same name in your request. That can be very, very damaging because you might have two subsystems. One system is for generating the link and it might look at the first parameter, which would be your victim. And the other one might be sending the link, looking at the second parameter, which might be your attacker in this case. So the link of the first user is sent to the second user. That is parameter pollution and can literally cost you an, your account. This is something you should always check for in bug bounties. And if it is possible, report that stuff. And pen testing, of course, as well. And when it comes to weak cryptography, that is something that pen testers should only report. I don't think bug bounty hunters will get much out of this, but still it's something that you should look out for. And I know that it, it's not a super popular opinion, but MD5 hashing, for example, it's become a little bit less secure in recent years. Now, those are a few ways what, in which forgotten password can cost you your account. Do you guys have any ideas of extras that you can add? There's also password reset poisoning, of course. Um, make sure that you read the blog for this one. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into this one. I just wanted to show you guys a few ways which you can use. And especially as a pen tester, you always have to have that mindset of anything that is out of the ordinary has to be reported as an informative even. Uh, maybe as a medium, if you can abuse it as a high or critical, you really have to look at this very, very carefully, this functionality. Hope this helped you, my friends. Bye, amazing hackers. I will see you in the next one.